Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Uh, today we're going to be looking at using uh, logarithmic axes in Bokeh. Let's get started. So first off, let's go on and start up a, uh, a new Python file and let's call this um, uh, Bokeh log axes.py. Uh, so let's go on and get our basic imports. So uh, Bokeh plotting we want to import figure and we want to import show. Now let's go on and prepare some data. We're gonna need uh, quite a few pieces of data. So so let's prepare some data. Uh, so we first we want our x-axis and we're going to do 0, 0 0.5. Uh, you know what, we'll actually make this something a little bit different. 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 1.0, uh, 1.5, uh, 2.0, uh, 2.5, and 3.0. Now then we will make sure that <clears throat> each of our y-axes is going to be some sort of function of our previous one. So let's do something like uh, x squared. So i squared for i in x. Then let's do something like um, what do we want? Let's say something like uh, 10 to the x. Okay, so 10 to the x to the i for i in x. Uh, and then let's do something else like um, y2 here. And let's do 10 to the x squared. Okay, for i in x. Uh, I think I think that'll be enough. So let's go on and uh, uh, create our figure. Okay, um, and we'll also we're going to boot, do this with uh, a log axis or axis. Uh, so let's do something like p is equal to figure, and then we want our title here is going to be log. Uh, axis, and then we'll do our uh, sizing mode here. Uh, I want uh, let's do stretch width, and then we want in here um, plot height. We'll do three hundred. Um, Max width here is going to be 900. Uh, and then we'll do x axis here. And then type, we're going to whoop, underscore type. Here we're going to call it log. This is how we actually get the logarithmic scale. Uh, y range here is actually going to be something like 0 0.001 uh, to 10 to the 11th power. Uh, and I actually need, this does not, uh, this needs to be, this is a range, so it needs to be in A, uh, square brackets. X axis uh, label here, um, let's do, let's just call this sections. Uh, y axis label here, and we'll call this, um, uh, log axis example. You know what, let me just call this x for now. Uh, and then we're going to add in our renderers. And so again, since we have so many of these, we need to make sure and customize our axes to, uh, not our axes, but our renderers to look good um, so that we can identify each type. So let's say add a renderers. So p dot line uh, x by x uh, legend label in here is going to be y is equal to x. Um, <coughs> uh, p dot circle here we want x x legend. Um, label here and we'll do something like uh, 
y is equal to x comma fill color uh, is going to be white and our size here is going to be five then we'll do something like p you know, let me put a space in here p dot line uh, we have x y zero uh, and this is legend label in here and we can actually put in and this is this is kind of nice because whoops when we actually render this um, it'll actually show us uh, the LaTeX um, so we can do something like y is equal to x to the 2 uh, and we'll do something like line width and here's gonna be 3 p dot circle uh, X Y zero uh, legend whoops uh, what did I actually want uh, no we're gonna we're gonna delete that line add a new line and we'll do P dot line here X Y one legend label here uh, Y is equal to what did what did we have that as 10 to the 10 to the X uh, line color here will be red uh, and then let's do P dot uh, circle X Y 1 uh, legend label in here uh, and again this will be y is equal to 10 to the x we'll do a fill color here is going to be red um, line color is red and we want our size here to equal 6 uh, and then we'll do I think we have one more right p2 yeah p2 okay so then <clears throat> p2 will be something like p dot line x y2 legend label in here is um, what did we have we had y is equal to 10 to the x to the 2 uh, line color here is going to be orange uh, and our line uh, dash is going to be a 4x4 four four. okay and then let's do show P okay and let's run this whoops what was my invalid syntax what didn't it like let's take a look shall we all right, so my invalid syntax, uh, I didn't like line one. What was, what did I do wrong on line one? Uh, bokeh from bokeh plotting, import plot, you run it again. Oh, again, I did the size mode. Nope, sizing mode. Okay, let's try that one more time. What is it? What did it not like? Hmm. All right. Oh, and it's still okay. So for some reason, it is trying to run a different file. So let me exit. Let me clear this. Now let's give it a try. There we go. Okay. So what we can see here is um, all this work was to make all of these multicolored lines in here but also to show that this is on a logarithmic scale here and it actually made this nice plot that we can see uh, again here it's starting at uh, 10 to the negative 3 and it goes all the way up to 10 to the 11th as we showed um, let me show you here now again what it did is because we told it to do a logarithmic scale right here at line 15 um, it actually took our um, 0 0.001 which is uh, 10 to the negative 3 and it actually converted this also this 10 to the 11th 
that converted this actually to this proper uh, standardized logarithmic notation for us. And um, it is very common, okay, whenever we are plotting out data to use log scales, particularly on the x and y axes. Um, so make sure that you get accustomed to creating up these types of plots and just knowing that you can actually uh, convert your axes to log just by adding this y axis or x axis type is equal to log is very very helpful and also being able to add in each of these custom renderers and my head is actually kind of in the way here so let me make this a little bit smaller uh, I'll move that over so we can see here this um, this axis so here again you can see here that it showed it actually created up some of um, some nice uh, visuals for us so that we can actually see each of our axes and again when you have these multicolored again here you have the circle with the line um, you actually have to do these double lines so here you do line with the circle on top and it'll actually help uh, it'll match up the labels for you and will help um, fill them in as well so I hope you guys like this if you did, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.